Time to watch some Bethesda's. Yes, time to watch some Bethesda's. All right, let's see how this. Great to see everybody. It's like perfect timing too. Why are you applauding this man? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you are lying through your fucking teeth. <laughs> An incredible year at Bethesda. <laughs> I, I guess we're ignoring Fallout 76? We've had over 60 million players in our games, our most ever. And it's all of you. 60 million players? Are you seriously <laughs> implying there are 60 million players in Fallout 76? They are all my accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I have 60 million alternate accounts. You'll never find my maid. It's like shit. Oh, speaking of which. Oh. Yeah. Shut up. Oh boy, Pat. here we fucking go. A type of game we never Okay, who the fuck yep. are they paying in the audience to actually cheer for what the hell happened? <laughs> also, also, That's like the don't, even try, of don't even try to hide that shit. No, Danny, he said there were a lot of mistakes. You don't say! The team kept working on it, and you shipped the game out too early, you fucks. Oh, man. Oh, good lord. This game has one of the best online communities we've ever seen. Um, okay, from what you've ever seen, I think it's... I think, I think it's safe to say there may be a much better online communities compared to Fallout 76. All right, I'm just saying. And wave to each other. I don't know about you. This should give us all hope for humanity when the apocalypse does come. This should give us all hope for humanity when the apocalypse does come. Oh my god. It's like, yeah, I'll tell you, ask, I'll tell you, ask them to write a, do an essay on why, on why pirating is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like you know, it's like. <laughs> Oh, how dare how dare you mod our game? You know, no, we're gonna ban your account, and then we want you to write an essay. It's like, no, don't think we have forgotten that. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's like you get the ultimate punishment: English homework. Shut up, Todd. It's like no. <laughs> Todd's a bitch. It's great to be here at E3, and thanks again to all of you for making Blades number one. And thanks again to all of you for making Blades number one. Twenty years. All right, look, let, let's be real here. I think most people at this point are wanting to see more Doom Eternal. Whoa! Custom jewelry! You mean to tell me my character can wear a necklace, and that necklace can wear another necklace, and then that necklace can wear a bracelet? And then Todd suspends you for modding the game, but but it's it's within the game. You said this was cut. This has custom jewelry. <laughs> I feel like I've been gypped. That's too much custom jewelry. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls Blaze, more like the Elder Scrolls Lames. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh god, Elder Scrolls for the Switch! Wow. Riveting gameplay. Way to put the Joy-Cons into some good use. Alright, alright, look. Why play these Tycho Drum games with the Joy-Cons? When you can, you know, fight monsters with very little effort with the Joy-Cons in Elder Scrolls Blades. Stuck with us and help shape the world of Fallout 70. All two of you. <laughs> oh god. Absolutely update yet. It's called Wastelanders. And for starters, it actually works. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Why call it Wastelanders, you may ask? Well, apparently, 
For, according to our tech guys, the only way this game would work is if we pretty much turn, cut everything, start it from scratch, and turn this entire game into literally a wasteland. That's the only way this game will run. <laughs> it, it's also symbolic. <laughs> Except not really. Because because what's so symbolic about a wasteland? We say we say there's it's symbolic because it we thought it would be ironic in a funny way. It relates to our practices. What are you talking about? We've been everywhere and seen everything. The one thing we. Whoa, okay, what the hell was that thing? <laughs> Year two. And they're gonna ass. get and they're gonna get bugged up the yes! It's a And then history repeats itself. <laughs> the game's like, not even out yet, and I'm already suspended. What the hell? It's like it's like year it's like year two. Wait, th there's been a year one? Wait a minute. Sorry, it doesn't feel like it's been two years. Yeah, it's like it's like seriously, it's like okay, who is giving these people hookers and blow? Seriously, <laughs> I uh, all right, like, all right, all right. Look, it, I I think you have to point fingers at the big walking swaths in '76 for the hookers and blow. Year one was about the vault doors opening and all of you settling the wasteland. Year two is about. Oh, go settle the wasteland. The game was bugged. <laughs> They're tr oh my god, they're trying so hard to not admit to the fact that, yeah, our game was messed up, but, uh, alright, alright, but it was still great, 60 guys, million players. This only, this, guys, this is the only job I have, if I start bad-mouthing it, Todd's gonna fucking fire me. <laughs> Look. Listen, I don't listen. I don't really express my my opinions. Don't are are not are completely different to what was being was being said or anything. I just literally had to say what is said on a teleprompter. All right, I'm just saying. A stink eye. Todd's already giving you a stink eye. Up, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. He's he's gonna ban me from my job. Have to write a have to write a three hundred word essay about why jeopardizing my career is a bad thing. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's like you are trying so goddamn hard. Perhaps you will be the one. Okay, okay. I shit you not. I hear the guitar for that split second there. I I was scared because I thought they were literally gonna try to use yes from roundabout. As, there, as a song for this trailer. It's like, don't you dare. What you're seeing right now is an accurate adaptation of what exactly happened before this update even happened. This is how the game really was. Nothing but fire in a blaze. P pretty much, pretty much showing to you from a more visual and yet over exaggerated standpoint that Fallout 76 was royally screwed. <laughs> see, these were all the players we had before we banned them. You see the nuke? That's what we like to consider the band hammer. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even set off a nuke. <laughs> Ser yeah, like, yeah, I think it was like two people, like, yeah, you know, it was like online, like two people, like, you know, two separate nukes. They launched the nukes at each other and the game crashed. So it's like, so it's like they couldn't even launch their fucking nukes that they worked hard to get. My god. So, I mean, it's like, yeah, no. <laughs> Don't buy into this crap. Fuck you for putting the battle royale in Fallout 76! 
It's like, Bethesda, no. Inappropriate. Children are in the audience watching your conference. <laughs> give a shit about the cursing? It's like, I give a shit about the lying! No, no, not, not you. <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm saying about, like, with Bethesda. It's like... Little Jimmy could be watching this. I already banned him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, ban him. Ban the child. <laughs> it's like, it's like, how dare you? Get that ass like, banned. Yeah, it's like, write me, yeah, write me an essay to come back in the room. <laughs> Get that ass banned. Everything we've talked about that's coming this year is free. We get to represent hundreds of passionate developers. You can bring in the microtransactions. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> uh, like, you gotta, get, gotta have that five dollar tile. It's like, it's like, no, no, don't do that. EA has already been on a roll with the microtransactions. I mean, look at Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Anthem. These game worlds are to all of you, and they are to us. We know the time you spend in them is important. Keep telling us what you love, what you'd like to see us do better. Game that works, can you give us that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we love a game that works. <laughs> you are absolutely right. <laughs> okay, alright, okay. welcome the founder of Tango Gameworks, Mr. Shinji Mikami. It takes two to tango in Tango Gameworks. It's like, okay, so, all right, so we got that, some Elder Scrolls stuff out of the way. We got, um, so I assume they are, they pretty much said what they need to say about Fallout 76. It's like, okay, whatever, good riddance. Let's actually get into some good shit. Elder Scrolls, old Skyrim for DOS. Oh, oh, God, that's right. Ah, uh, they, they act, well, I mean, they, I mean, well, yeah, they all, actually, yeah, they also did tease, like, a brand new Elders game that's supposed to be a direct sequel, you know, to Elder, Elder Scroll Skyrim. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then, oh, Ghostwire. Ha. Huh. Okay. She, she's, she's harmless. Todd has a cannon backstage and it's pointed at me. Send help. <laughs> I am not okay. Send help. You have to explore the world. Yeah, I will give credit where credit is due. V very impressed by her by her uh, uh, ability to speak fluent English. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Working at Bethesda in a nutshell. I'm going to die. Okay, alright, no joke. I think, I, so far, I think she was literally the best part of this entire conference. Like, no joke. <laughs> she has, like, genuine charisma. I love it. Okay, alright, so, alright, so let's see, what, okay, so what exactly does this Ghostwire game detail? Oh! Yeah, uh, Thanos! Yeah, they're literally Thanosing! I see this, and it's like, okay, when did Imperfect Cell come into the picture? He's, he's, he's going around, like, absorbing everybody! Until nothing but their clothes remain! Okay, well, all right, well, these guys are okay, I, I guess. For now. 
Unless they were demons. Whoa! The Kun Lao clan! Beauty and the Beast? Yeah, that well that yeah, that was definitely a beauty I just saw. Huh. Okay. Alright. Very interesting. Uh nope. oh jeez. Have people talking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sad. Yeah, you, trust me, I would I would be curious enough to see some gameplay too, but considering how most of these newly announced games are handled, usually they'll show a teaser with no gameplay. That would be nice, though. That would be nice. You will read this, and you will say my company is great. And like then Fallout 76 happened. Oh, god damn it. Well, <laughs> here I was hoping that they would be done with Elder Scrolls, but sure enough, no. No. Well, I mean, if it's a new Elder Scrolls game, then fine, but it's like... Oh, it's, if it's, 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 on, it's the online. Yeah, I think I think Brian was just like saying in general, if it was referring to like the new Elder Scrolls game, then alright, that would be a completely different story. But yeah, no, seeing as how this is Elder Scrolls online, it's just like, oh, okay, so I assume once again they are talking about an already pre-existing game or online service in this case, but we're adding more features to it. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Because if you well, well, if you remember last year, I mean, yes, last year they said, you know, yes, we do have Elder Scrolls 6. The problem is, though, they also said that they weren't going to work on it because, you know, not immediately, because there were two other games that they were working on prior to it. So yeah. we still got a ridiculously long ways before uh, before that happens, if it happens at all. Yeah, because I, I was going to sit here and be like, how many more systems can we put Skyrim on? <laughs> we'll put uh we'll put Skyrim on the uh, uh Atari Jaguar. <laughs> put Skyrim on the NES somehow. <laughs> More specifically, the NES Classic. Yes. <laughs> the Bethesda Classic. Every game is Skyrim. Just a few days ago, we launched From the creators of Minecraft. <laughs> it's like, well, oh, I thought Todd was behind all these games. No, it was actually by the people who made Minecraft? Holy shit, I never would have guessed. <laughs> Plot twist of the century. If you haven't played it yet, Elsewhere is the perfect starting point for new players. When the perfect point for a new player, well, I mean, that is if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> we think. Todd hasn't given us all the details. I mean, apparently there are like 60 million players in uh, Fallout 76, so I, we would like to say, you know, we like to assume that everybody well, how many here... Of them are act how, and how many of those 60 million are actively playing? That's what they don't tell you. <laughs> Again. That's what, they do that's what they don't tell you. <laughs> Again, and for good reason. Again, it's like Todd has like 60 million alternate accounts. <laughs> Todd one, Todd two, Todd three. <laughs> oh wow, rude God! I just woke up from my beauty beauty nap in this burning village, and you just bump into me like that without even saying sorry. Wow, this wow, this place sucks. God, I hate post-apocalyptic futures. It's like, ah, oh, I hate these frequent dragon attacks. Meow. <laughs> oh, stop. Ah, meow. The fuck you, fuck you, horse. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Fuck me, what did I do? Leave my cat alone. 
It's like, um, I am not your cat. I am your friend. Oh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I think I'm your friend. It's the Skeleton Titan! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, alright, so much for that. <laughs> You're on your own. Hold on, okay, I need to take five. Again? It's like, it's like, oh, it's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, all right, I will give credit or credit is due. If, it, if I was in, if I was in that character's shoes or whatever, I'd probably be a bit too scared to hiss back at the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, pfft. ow. <laughs> it's like, oh, what the fuck? This is just Skyrim, but it stars a furry kitty cat. Oh, my dick. Oh no! Oh, okay, no, he, okay, he, he's fine. He's fine. Okay, <laughs> okay, I was gonna say. Hairball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fellow warrior, fellow warrior, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hairball. <laughs> what? Oh, the dra wait, what? The dragon is still alive. To be continued. I thought I was watching a video game, not a not a drama. What the hell? That's right, another cliffhanger. Fuck you! Uh, uh, wow, another cliffhanger. It's like you knew. It's like you knew of the other cliffhangers you have done in the past. Want to find out what happens in the end? Well, you just gotta buy and play the game. <laughs> well, you're like, just gonna have to play the game. Yeah, it's like how? It's like uh oh man. <laughs> wow, someone's real. Someone's really excited about Scalebreaker, and it's usually Scalebreaker. Yeah. yeah! Oh my god! But how, but how much do you want to bet those are actually like game developers? <laughs> yeah! I made this game. Nah, like, they're, they're, they're actually they actually. What you don't see in the audience is Todd sitting there with a gun at their head. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah. Again, th again, that seems to be a again that seems to be a really common trend with this conference. <laughs> Todd is a very abusive, <laughs> abusive man. It's like, it's like, God, it's like, goddamn. He hears everyone be like, oh, Konami's new. Konami has some of the worst people working at the business. Todd said, hold my beer. Oh, wow. Okay, this is, uh... This like a di definitely took a different turn compared to what we've seen so far. Bethesda's finally making their own Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> With surprisingly much better animation than the more recent uh, seasons of Johnny Test. Well, to be fair, that's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> Commander Keen just died from a black hole! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Commander Keen. Huh. Okay. So there's a new branch on Commander Keen's family tree, and they're heading to iOS and Android. Wait, oh, it's a it's an it it's a phone game. Oh. oh god, but that's just going to phones. Let's <laughs> meet Billy. 
It's like, <gasps> Billy! And, wow, really? Okay. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Dude, I swear to God, <laughs> they better not have been adding Fortnite dances to this game. Oh, no. Listen, listen, Billy number two, all she had to do was just ma make her hand in the shape of an L as she was kicking her feet in the air. You got a Fortnite dance right there. It's like, okay, you were so close. So close. And explore Mars and beyond. You can also go helmet to helmet with other players. Don't even worry about uh, exploring to like uh, Venus and Mercury. Like that, that, nah, nah, that's not. That doesn't seem like it's moving forward. No, Mars and Beyond. Oh yeah, that will definitely, you know, give you the much better experience. That's beyond our borders. We must never go there. <laughs> but I thought they said Commander King can do whatever he wants. Oh, there's more to being Commander King than getting your way all the time. <laughs> there's more? Yes. Oh, God, no, please, no. Can't wait to kick some asteroid with you. Ha! I get it. I get it. That's where the Fortnite did. Yeah, I think Bethesda holds the record of having the most mobile games be, like being announced. It's like, no, yeah, no, Bethesda, I'm willing to believe that you really do love your mobile gaming. You can experience the Elder Scrolls. Now check out our newest edition of Angry Birds. And Elder Scrolls Legends. It's a great experience for a night of gaming or a quick match. Angry Birds Skyrim edition. Angry Skyrim. Hey. Oh, meanwhile, at a local Starbucks. Ah, oh, oh, shit. I, I, okay, I knew I should have put my freaking so phone on silent before playing this game. <laughs> how, how embarrassing. Your next credit card payment is due. I, for, I, for, I forget, I forget the Starbucks. This, this is a kind, this is my kind of place. What is this, Night at the oh. Museum? Is that a drunk crab? Magic the Gathering. <laughs> In Elder Scrolls fashion. God, I knew it. Bethesda, we're gonna get into children's card games. Oh, oh my god. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I got a text from my mom. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Pause the game for a second. Yeah. <laughs> you said you'd be home an hour ago. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, 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 nothing. I'll be there in a second. Oh, shit. You better get back here now. Your laundry's starting to smell. It's... The house is literally getting burnt alive. <laughs> You left the oven on! <laughs> There's a dragon literally outside burning everything! See? Dragon. Have you been playing your Elder Scrolls again? If you enjoy other card games or looking for something to survive, oh, good lord. The app store and begin playing tonight. Legends next expansion, Moons of Elsewhere, will be available on June 27th for PC, Mac, Moons and of tablet. Uh, shoot. I can't think of a more creative name. Like, okay. All right, fill, all right, all right, guys, fill in the blank. Moons of what? What would be a good word? Um, moon of elsewhere? Yeah, all right, you, all right, you, all right, you, that, that, that's fine. We'll, we'll just roll with it. You know what? We're in a time crunch. We'll just take it. That, okay, that was the name of the game I was thinking of during the Microsoft conference. Rage. Okay, that was it. Just deliver a critically acclaimed... That was a game that had the theme uh, from Andrew WK. You better get ready to die! <laughs> yeah, the game that nobody's talking about. <laughs> I mean, it literally came and went and no one cared. Oof. Uh, oh uh, yeah. Yes, yes, sad, yes, sadly, the only good thing about the initial announcement for Rage 2 was the song, You Better Get Ready to Die. That was it. Because that was such a great song.
Everything else is like, eh, all right. <laughs> wow. So many wastelands. <laughs> they 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 call these folks the wastelanders. Why is everything a wasteland? All right, look, having everything be a wasteland was not enough. All right, we need to set the we need to set this in a wasteland, but somewhere in the seventies or eighties. I swear to God, if the next Smash update includes having a stage that's a wasteland. <laughs> They're coming! Oh no! Rise of the Ghosts! No! Oh god, I'm getting phantom pain flashbacks. Go shit! <laughs> Whee! Oh. Well, he's dead. Please welcome executive Wolfenstein. Wait, but then they wait, but they just released the uh, Wolfenstein 2 not too long ago. Unless they're already well, about to whip out a third third game. Hello, well, we're going to do it again. German science. Oh. Really? <laughs> with <laughs> with this Wolfenstein game, you can kill Nazis in virtual reality. Hmm. We are advancing. We are advancing German science. <laughs> that's the that's like the ironic thing about it. It's like we. <laughs> We we have brought this this Nazi killing VR game through the power of German technology. <laughs> it's like oh well, well thank you, Monsterheim. This summer we are going to be launching Wolfenstein Youngblood. Hobbs? <gasps> Youngblood. Yeah, they showed they showed Youngblood last year, I think. Wait, really? I think so, yeah. Huh. Well, uh... <laughs> I guess I'm probably the, uh... I guess I'm probably the 1% that didn't even... That probably forgot about this game from last year. <laughs> In case you forgot what you do in this game, you kill Nazis. We cannot stress enough about the fact that you can kill Nazis in this game. Can we kill vampire Nazis? No, that would be stupid. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what caused that cutscene to occur? <laughs> Man, Wolfenstein, you ain't got no freaking easy. I bet you got some young blood, but you ain't got no freaking easy. Yes, just to clarify, with the Nintendo Switch, you can kill Nazis on the go. <laughs> <laughs> Nazis confirmed for Smash? Oh, hell no. Okay, Arcane Studios. So, 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 wait a minute. Are they about to, you know, lead into another game that, 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 that Bethesda has been working on? Or is it still somehow tied into Wolfenstein 2? Ark. Batman! A crane? Please, that's in every Resident Evil. <laughs> The game takes place during what we say in French is... It's like, oh god, the crane! A time of madness. And now that we've given you... Once you had a crane, you could solve every problem in Resident Evil. ...to our two deadly rivals, Cole and Juliana. Yeah, you know, what I was about to say is, like, that robot holding a gun or whatever, was that, was... Was that freaking... Was that, like, the... Part of... Was that one of the Omnix robots from Overwatch? 
<laughs> wow. They, they can't even make their own original robots. Was it, was it again the Omnics have gone rogue? Let me guess. You're next going to rip off a Metal Gear, aren't you? Uh, oh god. Huh, okay, all right. So, uh, wait. Okay, all right. So basically, every time one of these two characters die, pretty they pretty much wake up from their death as if, you know, it was a dream for a second chance at killing the other guy. Yeah, that's got to be that's got to be a repetitive life. It's like would that be considered an endless death? Combines a mind-bending story with meticulously designed levels. Yeah, actually, actually, no. Actually, I take that back. If that was the case, we'll be get, we, we would be getting into some dark side territory. Any way you like. Because in the endless clash between these two extraordinary assassins, how you play is up to you. Plus, I think it's really fucking cool. Whoa, calm down, buddy. <laughs> Again, Bethesda. Inappropriate, God. Yeah, maybe, maybe you should kids watching. Actually. <laughs> hey, YouTube's not gonna like YouTube. Shut down the stream. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's like go. It's like what well, cursing on our platform? Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> cut, uh, cut the production. You're not wrong. <laughs> And then Fallout 76 happened, and it fucked your goodwill! <laughs> Fun fact, did you know that all of those recordings were actually done exactly one year ago, before Fallout 76 was, was launched? <laughs> and then they all regretted their recording. It's a big open world, no one's gonna notice a few glitches here and there. Fucking Bethesda. We are the inventors of the first-person shooter, which is now the world's most popular form of gaming. We've also brought platformers into the mix, like, like, uh, Home Alone for the NES. <laughs> Oops. Now we'd like to introduce you to Orion. <laughs> Orion! It's like, it's like uh, what? Streaming technology. It is our name for we got a game for you. <sighs> all right, all right, lay it on me. What, 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 what new game is it? Fallout 76. <sighs> it's like, oh, God. we are never gonna let that go. <laughs> God, why Fallout 76? Fallout Bizarre Adventure. No. <laughs> <laughs> With Orion, you'll still be able to stream your game at max settings. Huh. Okay. That... That seems nice. Though... Uh, Define, like, okay, for, when it comes to streaming games, like, what? We're just talking, like, just strictly, you know, Bethesda games or whatever? Or, like, any game? <laughs> Yeah, probably just Bethesda. Yeah, uh, yeah, probably. You'll be able to play a freaking Wolfenstein 2 at max settings. Wait, what's this? Oh. Who is showing you just that here live on stage. Ha! So with the. <laughs> <laughs> Lo and behold, the power of Orion. As we have one of our, as we have one of our partners plays a game on his phone with his controller. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> We're supposed to be exciting. Exciting. <laughs> It's like it's like yeah it, yeah it's like play play a game like a Bethesda game on your phone 
with an Xbox 360 controller. It's like, alright, that's cool, but it's like, we already have the Switch! Everybody could use a little more Doom in their lives. I believe, yes! and we'll see I, I just realized that could be taken horribly in the wrong context. They, do, it, they need like... more doom in their lives. But but no, they are right about one thing. Yes, I do need more doom in my life. Can we? Yes! Thank you. Please give us some more doom eternal. It is their it is their time to give balance. It is their time to rule. Whips out a huge gas laser galley gun. Like, oh god damn it, Doom Guy! Stop fucking up my plans. Doom Guy for Smash? No. This is for you, bunny rabbit! <laughs> oh shit. Damn. Alright. There we go. Doom Eternal. Alright. Um. Uh, release, month, year, anything at all. Never. Okay, co oh, come on. We've been talking about Doobie to <sighs> You know, <sighs> frick. I, I, you know what, I, you know what, probably, you know what, probably know, they're still talking about this game, so... Maybe they'll throw out the release month and year then. <laughs> Again. It's like we've lost count on how many times the world has been in great turmoil. Oh. oh hey, it like Shit. Okay. Oh, oh, thank God. Please. More Doom gameplay like this? Yes. We yeah, again, we need more Doom. <laughs> Everyone could use more Doom in their life. Oh yeah, you could dash- Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> all right. I don't recall seeing, I don't recall seeing massive tentacles in, in the first Doom. Surprise. We'll have a chance to play it immediately following the show. Oh, as a demo. Oh, great. Well, good on you guys for attending E3. Don't worry, Ryan, I just finished my teleporter. We'll get you there immediately. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, and here comes even more gameplay. Not gonna, okay, not gonna lie, I think this is the most they, this is, this is the one game they showed off the most. Way more than Fallout 76, way more than listen, Wolfenstein, listen, we, way more than Elder Scrolls. Listen, we really want you guys to forgive us for, for, uh, Fallout 76. <laughs> Look, we realize we, we gave you a lot of doom in your lives in the worst ways possible. So let's so hopefully we can make it up by giving you another form of doom in your lives. Please help. Todd has my left kidney. Again, I am not okay. Send help. <laughs> 
I love how we're turning Todd into like this vicious psychopath. <laughs> oh. I also love, love the use of the uh, Halo grab lifts. Wait, that's illegal. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I, pl I please bring in, I bring in the execution kills if you can. Yes. Oh, okay. That one wasn't nearly as cool. Oh. <laughs> Okay, there- alright, there we go, there we go. That's more like it. Oh! oh. <laughs> he, he, pu he punched his head so hard it literally went through his freaking body. <laughs> oh, good lo oh my god. Oh, I- I pl- I please. Give the big guy the same treatment. Oh! Alright, okay. There we go, there we go. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Oh! Oh, okay. Alright. Those guys actually came up out of the freaking nowhere. Oh! oh. It's like, was that some guy or one of, the, or, or one of these demons? <laughs> mean! You break his heart and then you punch his face! And then you punch him straight in the face! Uh, I don't even want to be in this game. <laughs> I don't even want to be in this game. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh, Jesus. Be in Doom, they said. It would be fun, they said. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> I I will I will say the sound design for oh mm, on my throat <laughs> I kid you not I think I actually kind of felt that but no but seriously though the sound design it's absolutely killer. <laughs> yeah, take your insights and eat them. <laughs> I right, hope you like the beats. All right, excuse me. Part of me coming through. I have places I need to be. Stay out of my way. Try not to get burned alive from this lava pit. Excuse me. Enjoy your trip in hell. Alright, enjoy your trip in hell. I'm gonna head over to the Coliseum over there. Oh shit. I'm sorry, you cannot join me. It is a one seater. Thanks. <laughs> Alright. That was classic. Uh, yeah, that, that was awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Great. No, no, that, uh, that, 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 that was awesome. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was really awesome. That was killer. Oh, that was totally killer. But I bet a lot of you are wondering, when do we get to play Doom Eternal? Yes! Well, you don't have to wait too much longer. Really? Not quite tomorrow. <laughs> well, obviously, but no, really. How soon are we talking here? Doom Eternal will release on November 22nd. Mmm, oh, a holiday release. Okay, okay, good. Good. <laughs> about that and we've got something really special for doom fans. you guys been talking about this game for like two plus years it's about damn time oh shit remember remember back in the days of <laughs> i would not trust bethesda with the material pre-order <laughs> oh. That might be what it looks like now, but I guarantee you that if you purchase it, it's gonna look like shit! Right, well, oh, need man. I remind you of the canvas bags? Yeah, yeah I, was like, I was like, yeah, I was like, didn't they have, like, some difficulties with the, uh, actual, like, our merchandise, like, pre-orders with, um... Oh, oh god. That, like, that, that... they literally did... They did a bait-and-switch. 
It's like they literally, literally what they did was like they'd advertise you're going to get this like nice looking canvas bag, but everybody that pre-ordered it, the bags were made of plastic. Ah. It was made of a completely different material and they were like, wait, wait, what the hell? You at, you said it was a canvas bag. And then they said, you know, uh, yeah, we changed our minds. Sorry. Oh my God. You don't like, you don't like it. Here's 500 atoms. Oh my God. Oh, try, oh, it's like. When this conference is over, I can I'll link you to the uh, internet historian, like his video on on what happened. I mean, it's there's a reason why I'm not buying half of the shit that Bethesda's spewing out right now because it's like, oh. yeah, it's like it's like much like how I handled like a buying the first Doom game or whatever. It's like I will gladly get my hands on Doom Eternal, but at a very discounted price, of course. Well, I mean, it was like hell. I think it was like last week or something. Like, there, uh, what you call it? I think it was like Todd did like an interview. I don't know if it was with like IGN or somebody did like an interview where he pretty much openly stated like, yeah, we knew Fallout 76 wasn't finished, but we launched it anyway. Because like, yeah, literally they didn't care about how the game launched. They just care about, you know, how it's going to end up later on. We are just so, terrible I mean, like, with release so, so they yeah, so so I mean, it's like so they knew the game. They knew the game was not ready to be shipped, but they shipped it anyway. You know, you know what would make this the greatest press conference ever if they just ended it by calling Todd out on the stage. All right, audience, get your tomatoes ready. Yeah, really. What about your rotten tomatoes? <laughs> and then Todd's like, "Wait a minute, you guys set me up, fire!" <laughs> Just simply DoomCon. We too fancy anything. Just, just, just DoomCon. We're, we we're, where if you come to us, we bring the Doom to you in more ways than one. Please love our naming conventions. We only had thirty minutes to come up with it. Please love our Doom. <laughs> I'm gonna sing the Doom song now. No. <laughs> Please don't. I'm warning you. Like, okay, okay. I'm getting real sick and tired of singing it. Did you bother? But the true hero is you. It's like we hand you this malleable clay and you do these extraordinary things that we never could have imagined. We get to build these worlds and these communities, and you all come in and you play. And you I will say, to re really, really cool cosplays. <laughs> you add meaning to everything we do. We are glad you're here. We're so glad you're here. To the heroes. They seem very glad that we're here. Shit, I don't have a drink. To you. All right, yeah. well, there's a compilation of all the stuff they've covered. So, all right, so I guess it's safe to say they did, in fact, save the best for last. That was Doom Eternal. All right, all right, good. All right, good. At least they had the common decency to end their conference on a really, on a rather good note. If I do say so myself. So now back into the band room. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, be, be together in the band room. <laughs> all, right, all right, everybody back in the band room. Back in the band room, everybody. <laughs> dirt, dirt. <laughs> <laughs> 